गुड मॉर्निंग एवरीवन सो एस्टरडे वी हैव सीन मीनिंग एंड स्कोप ऑफ एंथ्रोपोलॉजी टुडे विल सी डेवलपमेंट ऑफ एंथ्रोपोलॉजी See, anthropological studies are not new uh, to humankind. Knowingly or unknowingly, people in uh, different time periods were uh, studying about societies and culture. Even though as a subject, anthropology came into existence in 1884 in Oxford University, anthropological studies are not new, isn't it? It is anthropology is a part of life. Maybe you also, even before you started studying anthropology. You are an anthropologist. Maybe you would have definitely known about cultures and societies, not only of you, your own, but also others, isn't it? So it is definitely a part of life. We'll start this one with a saying of Charlotte Neely. Please write. According to her, anthropology is more than a career, is more than a career. Full stop. In then continue it is a way of living in whatever i do in whatever i do i am an anthropologist So put all these things in quotations, all the things that you have written in quotations. So this is the, these are the statements given by Neely. Yes, you have written any confusion? What is it? According to her, anthropology is more than a career. It is a way of life. In whatever I do, I am an anthropologist. So these are the sayings of Charlotte Neal. Right. Anthropology is a part of life. Anthropological studies are not new to humankind. The studies about various aspects of human beings, various aspects of human beings were present since times immemorial, were present since times immemorial. were present since times immemorial. Okay. Next paragraph you write. Um, 
anthropological studies are not new to human kind they were present since times immemorial any spelling issues or something or which if you are not able to understand you can ask i'll write the spelling immemorial you are able to write yes is it okay mukesh next paragraph you write tk penniman in his book hundred years of anthropology published in 1935 proposed four different periods four different periods of development of anthropology four different periods of development of anthropology which include formulatory period which is before 1835 conversion period is from 1835 to 1859 constructive period Eighteen fifty nine to nineteen hundred critical period is nineteen hundred onwards. so 100 years of anthropology maybe he counted from 1835 to 1935 it is a tk penniman's view put the side heading formulatory period you have taken down i think some students did not this is the longest period in the history of anthropology please write this is the longest period in the history of anthropology pratyush you are feeling sleepy
it is the longest period in the history of anthropology it started from greek historians philosophers and naturalists and naturalists according to tk penniman according to penniman herodotus is the first ethnographer first ethnographer so ethnographer graphy means writing writing it is a scientific description of people and their cultures and the person who does this is known as an ethnographer you get my point so according to penniman he is the first ethnographer he is considered as father of greek ethnography he is considered as father of greek ethnography father of greek ethnography if you want you can comment it herodotus traveled to different places and studied about different races and cultures alien to him different races and cultures alien alien to him protagoras stated that man protagoras stated that man is a measure of all things measure of all things he was the first person to propose theory of relativism he also presented an evolutionary scheme he also presented an evolutionary scheme of how social traits of how social traits came into existence
Sonal has a question. Uh, I am addressing online students. So, Protagoras stated that man is a measure of all things. He was the first to propose theory of relativism. Isn't it? He presented an evolutionary scheme on how social traits came into existence. Yes. Okay. So before this one, so before this we were uh, discussing about a Herodotus who studied, who travelled to different places and studied races and cultures alien to him, alien to him. Yes. Next one is Socrates. Socrates. According to him, every society is founded, every society is founded on some universal values. Plato. He studied marriage, family, customs, and state. Next one is Aristotle. According to Aristotle, the nature of state laws and customs decides behavior of human beings or decides human behavior. You get my point? According to him, if law and justice does not exist, human beings are the worst of all animals. Human beings are worst of all animals. Some people are getting angry. But, but this is true. All animals. Yes or no? Human beings are, are very cruel. Listen, because intelligence is there, no? And after invention of one act of cruelty is after 
invention of fire prehistoric humans were trapping huge herds of animals and killing them all at once see the act of cruelty <laughs> isn't it so killing herds of animals at a time by trapping them in fire okay is a survival mechanism but killing such a huge herds of animals in one go is an extreme act of cruelty in modern days wars isn't it in wars what they are doing they are throwing bombs and killing innocent civilians isn't it is not an act of cruelty yes definitely an extreme act of cruelty in the name of uh, security or maybe sovereignty or maybe some other uh, border disputes or some other uh, differences isn't it and this from prehistoric times till now there were many such acts people were fighting in the name of a religion or maybe in the name of uh, uh, their cultures or maybe they are fighting in the name of uh, caste and so on so forth isn't it these are not new so this saying is absolutely right but for law and justice man is worse than all the animals isn't it so you need not get angry <laughs> it's a fact yes see sonal i'll come to that and i'll definitely tell you before the class is over i think you asked something in the beginning actually let me complete this one and then i'll i'll address that okay then you can write in medieval period in medieval period the ah, same formulated period only we did not change this is ancient time after ancient medieval in medieval period travelers like marco polo vasco da gama travel to different parts of the world discovering some new cultures philosophers like thomas hub emmanuel Kant. John Locke and other philosophers gave their views and opinions on gave their views and opinions on society and culture society and culture opinions or views on society and culture during 16th and 17th centuries some new discoveries like a demonstration of blood circulation by william harvey invention of microscope by 
by Anton von Leeuwenhoek. An attempt to compare apes and humans by Versalius an attempt to compare apes and humans by Versalius and other studies gave some new perspectives gave some new perspectives in biological studies during this time during this time christian missionaries christian missionaries studied different cultures in order to convert them into Christianity. Colonial administrators, colonial administrators studied different cultures for ease of administration colonial administrators studied different cultures for ease of administration for ease of administration before that british uh, before that uh, Christian missionaries studied different cultures in an attempt to convert them into Christianity. So this is the period from Greek historians to colonial administrators, which is formulatory period, which is the longest period, isn't it? 